Hi, this is Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm. I'm a web developer and a WordPress creator. I make WordPress and Element tutorials for beginners. So if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and hitting on the bell icon so you get notified of every new video I make. In this video, we'll discuss about Dynamic Content Plugins template system. It is basically similar to Elementor Pro's theme builder, but it has got a couple of advantages. And I'll show you how to work with dynamic content plugins template system and how to build theme templates yourselves. This video is sponsored by the folks behind dynamic content plugin. Thank you for sponsoring the video and let's get into today's video. So designing template system with dynamic content plugin is quite easy. You design it like any other Elementor template. When you click on Elementor and under here you see settings for dynamic content. Well, this is to set templates for each one of them so if you want to set a design for single posts you can design it but before you want to set it you have to actually design it. you can see there's something called types so for posts you can design or set a template for a single post and even archive so if you have a blog which is essentially a collection of posts you can actually set a design for it set a template for it and simply pick the template as that we'll do that in a bit and that applies to taxonomies as well so what does single category taxonomy means it means a post that is categorized as one of the built-in categories so if you select a category for a post you can maybe apply designs for categories you can maybe apply a separate design for tags and archives are basically the archives generated by wordpress so when you click on you can also click this link to preview how your articles and how your archives look like as of now this is the design it's a pretty bare bone design there's no design at all this this comes from theme essentially when you design a template with dynamic content it overrides your theme templates that's why it's called theme system anyway let's go ahead and design our first template so i'll just click on save templates i'll click on add new it can be a single page template now even if you have Elementor Pro, it doesn't matter. You can either use Elementor Pro to design the template or you can use Dynamic Content System to design the template. And even better, you can use all the Elementor Pro widgets in the Dynamic Content Templates. It doesn't matter. So I'll just call it Dynamic Single. I'll click on Create Template. It opens up our usual editing screen. Once we are in the editing screen, I'll simply use one of the built-in layouts. I'll just click on the folder icon, click on Blocks. From here, I'll click on the drop down. I'll search for single. Here you have different kinds of designs. I'll just pick single post. Now we'll obviously use the widgets from dynamic, but we'll just get the design just to speed things up a little bit. I'll pick this design and you can see they're actually part of Elementor Pro. So if you have Elementor Pro, you can use these templates. You can obviously design everything from scratch, but I'll just insert this. I'll just click on yes. It'll insert all the data with basically Elementor widgets linked to the dynamic content but we'll remove all the Elementor widgets and we'll put our own widgets in in a bit and you can see that this is post content widget I'll right click and delete this I'll also remove this Facebook like widget which I don't really need I'll remove that as well I'll remove this column even this one and even this one will also replace the post title with our own dynamic widget I'll remove this as well okay let's start from the beginning I'll click on the plus button you can minimize elementary widgets and right down here you can see there are dynamic content widgets let's first drag in our title and you can see it already pulls the title of the current post which is the in this case it's actually a template so it's actually pulling the name of the template I'll choose h2 for this I'll choose this and like I said dynamic has few more tricks of its own one is that it has so many settings and so many features for each of the widget that you use in dynamic system so, so for the title widget they have something called masking click on that you may not see anything don't worry about that let's change the color of dividers a bit let's also make them dotted now we need to fix the masking thing masking thing is basically the gradient text so let's click on gradient Let's click on color and let's add a color and there you have it. So it's basically gradient text. That's what they mean by masking. Now you can obviously change all these. I'll pick a better color combination. I'll pick 
this one and this one maybe this one anything that you want right okay i've settled with that click on style click on typography let's increase the size okay there's our title so we'll have title like that next let's add some author information again under dynamic content plugin let's click on post matters and you can pull in basically all the matters from here if you don't know which type to use you can simply hit space and or simply type a letter and it will show all the things available here so i'll click on avatar so if i choose avatar it will show me the avatar i don't need that you can choose any of the user fields i'll just click and drag the featured image right below this you may not see the featured image but don't worry once we add everything and reset the preview settings it will be clearly visible so the title featured image and there are a lot of settings for the dynamic content plugin let's drag our content widget again this is the dynamic widget i'll just put the content widget right there this is a text holder we'll just use the thing and you can also choose to remove short codes for it so the title featured image the gravatar let's click on the section we'll also stretch this section click on style and the background of the section will actually set it not to a featured image we'll click on the dynamic tags you can set it to maybe you can set it to an ac field but we'll just settle with the featured image so these are basically elementor post dynamic tags but you can do them with the dynamic contents dynamic tokens as well so this is the design that we have i'll publish or let's drag in few more fields like i said dynamic widgets are a bit superior to elementor pros widgets because if i drag in the date widget over here it pulls in the date at which this article was published but when you click on date type it will also show you it will also give you a way to display the last modified date this is usually common right on typical websites last modified on or last updated on so this is really neat and dynamic has a lot of tricks like these again let's change this let's change the color there are a ton of settings for each one of them now you have to just pick the things that you want that's it you can also pick breadcrumbs these are not used breadcrumbs but they come from the dynamic content plugin itself let's put it at the top of the page again we'll center it and let's change the text color to something like that let's put it that way so breadcrumbs again they'll show the path to the particular post that the user is in you can do a lot so for home you can change the home, color of the home page if you want right or you can simply leave it as is either way you can do it you can also change the separator color there are ton of settings for each one of them elementor doesn't have breadcrumbs of its own so it uses yoast seos breadcrumbs but dynamic content has their own breadcrumb as well anyway let's pull in few more fields i'll click and drag user fields here if i choose wp capabilities it will show me <laughs> those kinds of data as well so you can basically pull in anything that you want but we'll settle with the author name and in order to pull in the author name you need to click on the author button and then choose the nice name user is basically the logged in user so whoever logs in it will be displayed the data of that user will be displayed but we're rather interested in author name because we just want the name of the author of this post to be shown i think i'm done with the design right now so i'll just click on update let's actually compose a a post i'll open up dashboard and we'll just write a new post typical wordpress post we didn't set a design globally yet but we'll just write a new post i'll click on new post let's compose a new post i'll just make it quick using gutenberg featured image to this i think this would be the featured image i'll click set as featured image much the data else we want is there i'll publish this post now we actually designed a template we didn't set it yet so i'll click on the dynamic template system by going to elementor click on dynamic content now we need to set this design as our single post design so i'll just click this and this is a page that we designed and we want it to be full width you can see if you pick various layouts it will show you how the design would be applied so if you apply full width it will preserve your header and footer whether they come from elementor pro or your theme or from dynamic content plugin itself so we'll choose full width and canvas will basically remove your header and footer and it will stretch the template to its full width but we just want full width 
I'll click on save settings. Let's preview our post. So this is the one that we recently published. I just want to view it. Let's see how that looks like. My post, it'll apply all the designs and you can see this and this is the breadcrumb. This is the title. Now I just added a background overlay to our dynamic single design and this is how it's gonna look like. So the breadcrumb, the title, you can obviously change the title to anything. It has a gradient effect. If you want, you can use a normal color and the author name and the last updated on feature and the featured image itself. We've set it as the background overlay and also we have used it as the widget as a part of our design and author's gravatar. This is me who published the content. So it is showing my gravatar and this is the content, right? So we just designed a single post template. Similarly, you can do it for a single page. What about archive, right? It's done in a similar way. Let's do it. So I'll click on save templates. Again, the principle is simple. We just design it like any other page template. Then go to dynamic settings and set it as an archive template. Let's call it blog page design because blog is usually the collection of posts. I'll click on create template. Again, you can use all the various kinds of dynamic widgets that you want. You can pull in ACF fields and stuff like that. But for archives, all we need to do is to pull in the posts. So dynamic has a widget called dynamic post widget. Click and drag it and it will show all the posts. And the post type, we want posts because we are essentially dealing with the blog, which is essentially the post and you can choose how to render it. This, like I told you, dynamic widgets are really powerful. So you can render it as a grid, as a row, right? You can render it like that. You can render it as swiper so people can simply click to view all the content all the posts and stuff like that you can see that i don't have featured images for this it can be slick you know like that so this is where you have a lot of control over the design in your blog post so you can limit the posts if you use num minus one it will basically pull in all the posts and display them i'll hit publish let's click on the dynamic content settings so this is blog page design i'll click on archive now i'll choose the template i'll search for the i think we have to refresh the page once because we have just designed it and it doesn't know the page exists yet so the page is refreshed i'll click on post click on archive let's set this to blog page design and there you have it i think canvas would fit perfectly fine I'll save settings. Now let's click to view that and see how that looks like. And there you have it. Since I set my home page as a collection of all the posts, this is how it's going to look like. Of course, they don't have featured image, but you can see how the blog post is designed and set quite easily with dynamic. We can do it for pages, for custom post types, again, categories, tags. You just need to use appropriate dynamic widgets and pull in the appropriate data. And there's one more dynamic widget I want to mention here. So there's something called title type. So this is usually used for archives. So it basically tells you what kind of archives they are. So you can simply drag it around. As of now, it's showing my templates because this is an Elementor Pro template. But on the home page, it'll actually show the actual name. So let's view that. I'll click on visit site. This template is update and you can see the blog type is posts because these are essentially collection of posts and it will put the type of posts right there. So if you have custom post types such as reviews, it will display reviews there. You don't have to man uh, manually enter it. You can simply use this dynamic widget which says type title. So it basically displays the title of the type of posts or archives included in the design so that's really neat and you have a lot of widgets you can play with you have title taxonomy you, you can pull in acf fields there's a ton of possibilities with dynamic but this is how you design your theme templates quite easily and set them as the elementor designs this is dynamic template system in a nutshell let me know what you guys think about this i'll talk to you in the next one peace